guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to episodes 9 and 10 of Horizon in the Middle of Nowhere. I'm probably, you're probably wondering, that's what I meant, um, why in the world this didn't come out last week between, um, Thanksgiving weekend. I decided, like, last minute that I was gonna take a break. I needed a break. I was, I have been working my ass off this <laughs> whole freaking year. Not even, not even this whole year, like the three years I've been on fucking YouTube and I'm just like, I need a damn break. Like I I've had maybe breaks where I've been off or like, you know, for copyright strikes or whatever, but I needed a break where I was like not worrying about Patreon shows for like one day and like any side shows. So it's just like, let me chill and stuff. Let me kind of regain and everything. So yeah, I mean, as much as I really wanted to sit down and just like go ahead and watch uh, the Koi Monogatari finale, these episodes of Horizon, and then the last three episodes of season one of uh, Sinfo Gear, which I'm doing tomorrow, I was like, no, just chill out. I was like, we'll, we'll do all that next week and stuff. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started episode nine and three, two, one, go. Are we supposed to be the king, the king and queen? What's wrong with his eyes? Y'all saw that, right? <laughs> yeah, look at his eyes. Because eyes just don't look real. They look kind of like robotic eyes, in a way. Oh, damn. But what? <laughs> I don't even remember from the preview who you're going against because <laughs> it's been like what a week since I watched this show but as I said in Koi Monaga today I think if I watched this like Sometime last week or the weekend of last week, I think, you know, a lot of things would have happened. I think some of the shows would have gotten done quicker, kind of, not really, but, but you know, sometimes you just know you need a break. You're just like, hey, I got to take a break. I'm sorry. Like, body health-wise, like, just for a week, I'm still doing it, but other shows got to go on, like, a mini little hiatus, and then we'll be back in the following week. But some people understand that, and then others don't really understand that. And then sometimes you just want to tell people, like, you know, hey, life's unfair. You never know really what's going to go wrong and stuff. So, I mean, I get it because I've done it for three damn years already, and I've heard so many people give me bullshit excuses. I know why I should be taking a break, and then I'm just like, but yeah. I think we got like what two more? No, three more episodes after this. Wouldn't it just be better if maybe all of you just attacked her all at the same time and then whoever possibly kicked her ass would just be good? <laughs> I 
What, Tori, you want to go against her? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Your sister's going to go against her. Eh, she'll be fine. Is there a reason why she had to, like, literally, you know, um, do what she did, just did? Is that going to, like, enhance something for herself? Like, she's not going to go, like, all, like, Tomb Raider, like, OG Tomb Raider on us right now or some shit. I mean, I kind of figured that. Yeah, but I feel like that's not going to work because, I mean, you know, her thing is dancing, you know, erotica. So I feel like once you get to her, something's going to happen. You're going to soften your track. Oh. But I'm gonna know. <laughs> mm hmm. Now we're going into idol. Okay. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if she was like, fuck it, let's go DDR up in this bitch.
oven. Oh, it's just a scratch. Mm. You literally just scratched your boob. Do you know how bad that sucks when we get a scratch on our chest? Like, oh my god. And that's what you find. You look like what's your face? I'm trying to do that. Did I pronounce it right? I think I did. Mm -hmm. oh, Jesus. I mean, heck, if you gotta beat the shit out of him, just snap it out of it, do whatever the fuck. Oh. I mean, because imagine if he did die, I mean, she probably would have blamed herself for it. But Tony would have probably blamed himself for it too in the afterlife, but I think Kimmy would have been hell of his more than like him and i think she probably would have been in a deeper depression oh shit really e even in the middle like him You know who she reminds me of? And I. <laughs> fuck. Um, fucking run Giku from Bleach. <laughs> Damn. 
Uh-uh. I hope you're not going to kiss her after that. Also, you want to wipe that blood off your lips? All right, so we're good. We can go save Horizon now. Go kick this dude's ass and shit like that. Let's go. better i mean come on dude we got like how many more episodes left for season one done Plus, you don't want Ali to be scared to cry again. I, I swear, like, hearing her get upset, no, like, that's not good. I'm already getting upset about hearing her and freaking Zippo get cry and shit. Like, that hurts. <laughs> and I don't want to experience it again. Even though I probably will.
Of course. So I'm guessing she'll have to use that sort of this episode for a left dollar thirteen. They might even die. I mean, but still, it's all for Horizon. Really, also twenty, but Horizon. I mean, we also know this is going to take the span of from episode 20, uh, 10, 10 to the finale. So, like, that's four damn episodes. I mean, do they have enough time to do what they ever have to do? Please. I mean, what? There's like, what, 24 of y'all in this group? Hmm. Yeah, it's like 24 in the group uh, for children. I mean, not even children, teenagers, kids, whatever, in the classroom, like 20, 24 kids. I don't want it to be like 12 of y'all die and 12 of y'all survive and do whatever the hell you're going to do in the second half of this series. I don't want that, no. But, I mean, it was good. I I'm glad that they're finally able to go ahead and do this, that no one else is possibly going to really stand in their way. But with the fact is that we have officially been ready to go on episode 10 in a couple of minutes. After episode 10, I have three more episodes left. And it's like, still, someone could still get in their mother effing way and just be like, no, you can't do it. But these kids are very determined to save Horizon. Even Dottie. I mean, goddamn, he just wants to tell Horizon how he feels about her so much. Ever since, like, I want to say the start of episode one. And he's going to do everything in his power just to do it. And, you know, he's going to have his sister and everyone else along for the ride. And, you know, they're going to do their ish. They're going to shine in their own way. Um, Going back to Kimmy, I like her a lot. At first, I thought I wasn't, especially, I think, when episode one or episode two aired when I first saw her. I thought she was going to be that one character. Not like, um, because this is what's currently happening in the anime community for a certain show, <coughs> Fire Force. <laughs> It's still going to stop though. Okay, as I was saying, um, at first I thought Kimmy was going to remind me a lot of Tamaki from Fire Force, where she was just going to be nothing but um, fan service, and she doesn't get that like character development that she necessarily needs and wants to be like this big important character. Kind of almost how um, 
Claire was from 100, uh, 100 for me, like for maybe an episode or two, because I was like, okay, is she just going to be like the one who just accidentally gets her boob growth by like freaking <laughs> Yata, not Yata, wrong name, Hayato, um, all the time, and then that's it. But no, she actually did get backstory and character development, and that's why I really essentially love her as a character. So they're essentially doing the same thing with Kimmy, where, yes, yeah, she has fan service, and that's fine, like, that's for the guys, and then, yeah, for some girls who like that ish. Um, and then there's also me, who I'm like, well, I don't really care about fan service sometimes. I'm like, it's there, and it has nothing for me, but if it's a guy, then let's go. But, um, I mean, especially for her and for some of the characters that I've seen in animes, including Tamaki from Fire Force, a lot of people are essentially, like, dropping shows because one character or thousands of characters are nothing just fan service. And it's like, you've built this character up to finally be on her own or on his own and be independent as fuck just to kind of tear them down. And that's essentially what I thought that they were going to do with Kimmy. But, they're still kind of building her up without kind of, like, dumbing her down. But, uh, you know, and because and, if you could see the shit that, um, if any of you have possibly watched Fire Force, the shit that has started with this damn show and with the character Tamaki, because there have been feminists coming in and talking shit about it. Um, one dude uh, who somebody I know follows, he talked about it. I kind of talked about it, and I said, look, I'm fine with it. I think it's okay. I, I think of it as a running gag for Tommy Keith's character. I'm like, hey, that's just her. I'm like, there's times where I can take her seriously, and there are times where I can't. But I was like, hey, from last week's episode, I just thought it was fucking funny. But I'm glad they're not doing that with Kimmy. I, I just, the backstory on Kimmy and seeing her doing that to her brother, like, I, I was like, um, what the fuck? I wasn't <laughs> imagining, try, I didn't think... It was going to go where her, like, yeah, let me stick my hand in your mouth and let me, you know, here's all the spices and everything. Wake your ass up instead of me smacking the shit out of you. I mean, girl, bro, like, between, like, oh, God, um, between Tony getting his ass kicked by his sister and Kaiki getting his ass kicked by, um, Sengaku and fucking Koi Managatsu, like, oh, my God, they both take the damn cake. Like, what the fuck? I, I just can't <laughs> Both of these episodes, I can't. But I just want this mission from episodes 10 to the last episode to just run successful. Nobody gets hurt. Well, of course, uh, no, I'm fine with somebody getting hurt. But I don't want anyone to die. All these characters, we essentially, I don't know every single character's name. But we haven't had a character, we've had character moments with essentially all of these characters. But we've never really had where it's like, here's an episode focusing on this character or this character, or that character, overall in this group. We've had a couple, but not a lot. And I don't essentially want to be like, yeah, go ahead and kill this character off before I knew any anything about them, you know? Like, the Indian dude, I really want to know more about him. And because he seems like the quiet type. He barely really says anything in the show, and barely he's in the show overall. So I'm like, where's the Indian guy? I, I want to know everything about him. And so hopefully maybe he gets like a speaking role in episode 10 to 13, or maybe in season two, any one of these characters, maybe Nate, um, Nate has a little bit, um, anybody, the, the, um, the, uh, the girls who have, I think angel wings, who I believe are in a relationship because the way those two, mm -hmm, yeah, they're in a relationship. Y'all know that, but that's all I want. I mean, I don't want anyone to die and I just want more character development. That's it. You've given me a little bit of horizon and I still want more. So let horizon get a POV in this next episode, but go ahead and pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for episode 10. Okay. Episode 10 in three, two, one, go. Honestly, like, the way that looked, I thought she was gagging, and I was like, oh my god, like, baby! Hmm. Oh, fuck. But then, hold up, okay. Then how in the world can Tori and the rest of them like literally barge into her room and get her out? <laughs> oh 
This is like when freaking Kirito had to rescue Asuna in the second half of freaking Sora Online. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, just let it be successful, please. Even though, like, from that preview, it doesn't look like it's gonna be successful. It's just part one of a four-parter finale. <laughs> I'll, I don't even know what I'm going to do, especially with the fact is um, next week I have 11, 12, and 13. I'm either going to do one of two things. I'm either going to do how I'm going to do with Simpho Gear Watch. I'm going to have 11, 12, and 13 together. Or I might do 11 and 12 together, then 13 and 14. So it would just be really 13 and 14 instead of Horizon in the middle of nowhere, season one finale, and then going on and doing... Uh, 14, 15, whatever. Because I can't, because to me, it doesn't really seem like it's season one to season two because of the fact is it's 26 episodes. It's 13 episodes each. So I'm like, fuck that. Like, that's just one whole season right there. And that's the beginning, the middle, and end. So I think that's what I'm probably going to do is just still do it by two episodes instead of being like, for season one, for season two. <laughs> Mm. Mm -hmm. the thing is like is Horizon going to be able to reciprocate feelings to 20 like you know because she a robot now she still probably has human emotions right but who knows Well, if something goes wrong, Adele, you can just fix it. <laughs> I don't think you'll have time to, but, you know, maybe after the battle. After getting her eyes on you. So you're basically kind of telling me that Kimmy is not going to be a part of this battle? She's just going to sit on the sidelines for like four episodes? Three, not counting this one.
<laughs> yeah, he was already walking. <laughs> yeah, but aren't you supposed to go together? And not on your own. <laughs> yeah, because you are. Oh my god! You idiot! It's a big ass gun. Yeah, Adele, I, I think you're going to be the only- Oh! make me fucking laugh. I don't fucking know. You're basically the shield, Adele. Are you- oh, okay, I thought he was gonna throw her. <laughs>
Is it weird that her outfit is giving me simple gear vibes? Oh, that thing is fine. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, like, everything's going good. I mean, there's been little bad parts, but everybody's fine. No one's died. Yeah. It's okay. I mean, the thing is, I think I'm dead. Never mind. They can handle themselves. I was about to say, I think, will they be able to handle themselves? But looks like they can. Is the Florin part supposed to be like a reference to Pretty Cure? I like say the name. What's that one show? Oh my god, because I'm kind of getting feels for it. I think it's um, The Last Witch, something The Last Witch, like World War II Last Witches and shit like that. I'm kind of getting feels towards that, even though I've never seen that show. I've only seen like previews of it, and I kind of want to watch it. For it all. I mean, you are hanging on. Yes, you are. Endure that ace, baby. You are doing great, honey. Oh, God. <laughs> you gotta feel bad for her, though. Oh, my God. <laughs> Poor baby. <laughs> Just be like, how did I end up in this situation?
Margaret's still calling. Where's the other one though? Don't kill her. And so is she going to try to shoot at where, like, that marking was that she hit at? Is she making a... Uh, okay. Okay. Not even going to question that. Only if they had eject before, then they wouldn't have died, you know? But, come and see, come and see. Family could do dumb, you know? <laughs> They're so cute. If y'all don't fucking kiss, I swear to God. Oh, see, yay! <laughs> Could we just have a spinoff about them? <laughs> There's more coming. And see, that's not a smart thing because you're outnumbered now. Oh, fuck. I mean, how you was outnumbered before him, but the fact that y'all split into a damn group. <laughs> y'all are fucking screwed. But y'all gonna cut it off? I mean, we got like, we got less than a minute. 
Too late. You wanted to cut it right there. So whatever the fuck is gonna happen, we're not. Gonna, I'm not gonna know until like Thursday, Thursday or Friday. The only two days that I may have time to watch this because I'm super duper busy all this time. But okay, I'm gonna say it again. I love the fucking witches. They are so fucking cute. Oh my god. Like, hello. I mean, everybody knows how. Well, no, I don't think a lot of my freaking YouTube my subs from the past three years of doing YouTube know that I like witches. I think a lot of people know that I love the shit out of magical girls and idols because that is my thing, my aesthetic and stuff, but I also love the shit out of witches, so I can't. Oh <laughs> my god. And like, people know that I love Yuri and Yaoi and stuff like that. They are so fucking cute. I mean, hell, they could have did a spinoff all about them and their relationship after all of this, the span of 26 episodes and what the hell they want to do if they want to fucking get married, have kids, whatever. I mean, even though it's still, you know, Tony and Horizon in a nutshell, I want to know about them and what they want to do. And like, oh my God, when they kiss, like the feels I got with that, like, oh, that was so adorable. Oh my God. But I just need Tony to save his, you know, his somewhat of a girlfriend. That's all. But I just want to know what the fuck is going to happen next now since <laughs> those two are coming in. It kind of makes sense that he would, the guy who's kidnapped and taken Horizon necessarily would also want to fight too. Because I was thinking, okay, since he is essentially the other big bad of this story, I was like, if they go with the last three episodes of this show, or even with episode 10 from 10, or really up until the point where he finally came in and talked to Masa and everybody, I was like, if this dude comes into the last few episodes of this show for season one and he does not come down and fucking kick some ass. I'm gonna call this freaking dude, this bad guy, a punk for being a bad guy. Because ultimately, not every bad guy does it. But from what, like, I've seen as a kid from TV shows, cartoons, movies, whatever, essentially bad guys always come in, they want to kick some ass, shit like that, and everything. And I was like, this dude is really not gonna kick some ass for, like, the last three episodes that we have. And, and never mind, like, you just took that right out of my mouth. But... <laughs> I, I hope Tony, like, at least does something, because, I mean, Tony is the only one. We've technically really seen everybody in combat from that very first episode, except Tony. Everybody else has had their other, their time to shine in several other episodes up until now, but Tony's the only one we've never really seen fight. We've seen him kind of, like, be there, and so I'm hoping that from 11, 12, and 13, <laughs> he necessarily needs to show off his mother fucking skills. I don't want to go into season two or just the second half of this show and this dude not do jack shit anything except save her. I, you know, I'm the type of girl where I look at you and I'm like, hey, you got some fighting skills or some shit like that. Like, I, I mean, like, I, I don't know how to fight fight, but I know how to, like, punch somebody in the, in the motherfucking face and the motherfucking nuts if I have to or in the chest. So, I mean, you gotta know at least some combat, and he probably does. He's just waiting for the right time to use it. He's kind of being like, I don't want to show my OPS moves <laughs> right now, because I feel like I might, like, kill everybody all in, like, one moment. <laughs> like, I don't know. Tony is Tony. Tony just likes to play around and goof off. And so, uh, that's why every time when I look at him, I'm like, you're serious, but you're not that serious. I, I feel like, you know... He's just that big old goofball who's like, yeah, I just want to have fun. Yeah, I want to save Horizon. Very serious about saving Horizon because, you know, hey, that's my girl. That's my waifu. Shit like that. And I want to tell her how much I feel and love about her and shit. But I just need to see him fight. I want him to fight. I mean, I mean, seriously. Be like Ichigo. Be like Kirito. Be like fucking, um... Oh my god, whatever his name was in Big O, freaking Spike, um, any other male protagonist that I fall in love with who can kick some ass, <laughs> so that's all I'm just saying. I mean, you know, when you kick some good ass, like, all the women fall for you. How? Talk to Cosmo about that ish. I mean, Cosmo, you know, Cosmo can't really do that. Cosmo did some ish. <laughs> he got it through my face. <laughs> I 
like these still got women. I mean, damn. And that's what you want to. That's what some guys wanted the other day. Sometimes you just, I, you know, you just want to kick some ass and take some names. That's all. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to Futures episodes nine and ten of Horizon in the middle of nowhere. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the match squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially on next Friday for the Patreons. And next Tuesday for everybody else for episodes 11 and 12. Bye, guys.